Tonight, policing London streets. We join the Met on the front line. Good evening. We start tonight on the front line with the Met Police and the unit dedicated to keeping women and girls safe at a time when the force is trying to rebuild public trust. After a series of scandals, ITV News London has been given rare access to the teams patrolling the capital's streets. With Christmas party season in full swing, we spoke to women who said they feel vulnerable walking alone at night. And we joined the officers responding to crime. Well, Kath Opata spent time with the special task force. Well, Kath, look, there are trust issues. The Met says they're working on that, but it's also a question of money, isn't it? Uh, yes, and women and girls. And I did ask the Met what they're doing about areas like these. They said that in those cases, they had that funding. All right, Kath, thank you. And next tonight, a mother appeared in court today, charged with four counts of manslaughter after her two sets of twin sons were killed in a house fire. Devika Rose's four children died at a property in South London and the judge warned of a significant prison term if found guilty. Helen Keenan reports. Smother News Now, three people have been found guilty of murdering a vulnerable woman who was tortured, starved and beaten to death. The Police have stepped up patrols at an East London primary school targeted by an Islamophobic death threat. An anonymous letter was sent to Apex Primary School at a time when hate incidents in the capital are on the rise. Well, last week, only a handful of pupils turned up for lessons, but the head teacher said they wouldn't be forced to live in fear. Daniel Henry reports. Still to come on the programme. The first and extraordinary story of brotherly love. Jubal Lawal faced the prospect of losing a leg after every effort to find a donor for an essential operation failed. The arteries in his leg were blocked, leaving him in terrible pain and unable to walk. In the end, he looked no further than his own sibling for help, who agreed to a procedure at King's College Hospital never before carried out in Europe. And Rags Martel's report contained some images of the surgery. <laughs> now, anyone going past Trafalgar Square won't only notice the giant Christmas tree gifted to us by Norway, but also the giant menorah being lit up for Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of lights. Well, tonight's lighting ceremony drew together members of London's Jewish community. Antoine Allen is in Trafalgar Square. Now, Antoine in Trafalgar Square, thank you. Well, next tonight, better known for her sequin outfits, big hair and eye-catching makeup, we're about to see a whole new side to one famous Essex drag queen. The man behind the makeup, Nick Collier. You do say, well, I was, I didn't know I had to strip naked. Well, it's kind of the clues in the title, surely. You forget. <laughs> that dawned on you. How was that feeling? I kind of, like, <laughs> my gut went, oh, oh. It was scary yeah. because, you know, my job has always been... I'm used to seeing you as Elle of a Day, mm. obviously RuPaul's Drag Race. So you have layers and layers and layers on, don't you? You're yeah. important, isn't it? Early mm. diagnosis for quite a few cancers, aren't they? And it's just, yeah. it, it's checking yourself and, and talking about it, not being embarrassed about things as exactly. well. Exactly, yeah? never being... I know that we've got the first part on tonight. We've got the second part... Tomorrow yes, night. Yes. So, so is tomorrow night the kind of the big tomorrow? Oh, it's weather time, <laughs> Sally. So last week I was wrapped up. It was all you know, thermals, everything, and now it just seems to have got a bit mild again. Yes, it? but not now, Sally. It's actually two weeks today until Christmas. Now some of us, maybe me, are struggling for ideas for gifts, <laughs> and you may have some suggestions. <laughs> I'm guessing. Mm. Suggestions <laughs> that I made today. Uh, these two, on the other hand, are rather beautiful. Mine's a bit of a mess. But what we did today was we didn't just uh, mend these pots with yeah. gold glue. We broke them first ah. and then fixed them and made them more beautiful. Supposedly, although mine's not so beautiful. But the idea being that a bit like ourselves, mm. um, you know, we can be broken, but we can be fake. And so I went to Walthamstow today where they're running a course and they're running loads of them now across the country mm. about how you can do this Kintsugi art. And uh, it's a metaphor for life, really. So let's take a look. Love it. Oh, just before we go, after playing to a sellout crowd at London's O2 Arena, 15-time Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter Alicia Keys couldn't resist one final performance during her trip to the capital. Fantastic. That is it from our CITV Evening News at 6.30. It was Mary, but from all of us on the London team, bye-bye. Have a great evening.